fertilizer industries fertilizer industries are known as the noodle industries iron and steel industries are known as a basic industries fertilizer industries are known as the noodle industries fertilizers industries noodle industries these are known as a noodle industries nodal industries because these industries are used to increase the production in other sectors of economy in other sectors of economy the production it can be as a increase with support of a fertilizer industries the first fertilizer plant it was as a setup during the colonial period at ranipet in tamil nadu in tamil nadu tamil nadu in 1906 1906 the first fertilizer plant set up at ranipet in tamil nadu in 1906 but the real beginning the growth of a fertilizer industry it began after the independence with the establishment of sindri plant s i n d r i sindri plant sindri plant in 1951 1951 1951 sindri plant with the construction of a sindri plant in 1951 the growth of a fertilizer industry began in india it was started in india in 1951 this plant it was as a set up by the fci food corporation of india food corporation this is as the agency fci is the agency which is responsible for a procured food grains at the time of the harvesting and they ensure the availability of a food grains in a market to control the prices means why do as the prices of the goods they are in a hike in that state when the goods their supplies are affected so under such circumstances under such circumstances when the shortage of a material lies in a market under such circumstances their availability availability of a wheat rice it ensured by the fci for which as a fci work in our country so fci food corporation of india the set up india's first large scale fertilizer plant at a sindri in 1951 1951 the demand for a fertilizer actually started increasing after the introduction of a green revolution which resulted in awareness amongst the farmers to increase production to increase production it resulted as to increase as a awareness among the farmers to increase production as a result fertilizer industry spread through the length and breadth of country except extreme north and north eastern states of india north and north eastern states of india except extreme as the north and north it's not as in the sense as a jammu and kashmir north eastern states assam meghalaya and such parts as a use of a fertilizers it was not as a familiar this still practiced as the subsistence agriculture india produces as the nitrogenous nitrogenous substances like phosphate ammonium phosphate which is popularly known as a dap and complex fertilizers complex fertilizers which are popularly known as npk npk n phosphate p potash k n nitrogen p phosphate k potash npk potash is a totally imported as we do not have the commercial reserves india is the third largest producer of a nitrogen 
nitrogenous substances nitrogenous fertilizers there are a in our country there are the 57 nitrogenous units 57 nitrogenous units 68 phosphate units 68 phosphate units established in our country in relation to the supply regular supply of regular supply of fertilizers so there are around the 10 public sector undertakings and one cooperative sector one cooperative sector undertaking which is responsible for manufacturing of fertilizers yes tanya sir aapne 59% kaun sa unit bola tha 57 units are of the nitrogenous nitrogenous oh. units are the 57 68 are the phosphate units phosphate manufacturers phosphate units are the 68 there are around the 10 public sector undertakings and one cooperative sector one cooperative sector agency responsible for the manufacturing of fertilizers that cooperative sector fertilizer industry is located at hazira hazira is a well known for the india's longest pipeline india's longest pipeline hbj their first center as a hazira in gujarat associated with the manufacturing of fertilizers under cooperative sector cooperative sector so awareness with awareness and a green revolution spread fertilizer industry to the gujarat tamil nadu keral uttar pradesh rajasthan punjab bihar maharashtra maharashtra odisha andhra pradesh etc odisha andhra pradesh goa bengal assam karnataka almost as all the all the different number of the states are having the fertilizer plants fertilizer industries fertilizer industries clear next are the cement industries cement industries are also known as a weight losing industry weight losing industry and it has also categorized under the heavy weight industries these industries require the raw material in a larger quantities which is a bulky in nature bulky in nature that's why the cement industries are known as a heavy weight industries cement industry is also known as a weight losing industry the raw material required for a cement cement which is as the lesser it can be as a use for manufacturing of cement most of as the wastage obtained from the industry so one of the most essential ingredients of a construction industry is a cement cement is required for the construction of roads factories houses bridges etc in a present economy as a cement contributing in, as a significant role significant role so both the classes from 10c from 10c mehul bajaj 10c mehul bajaj 10th d lakshmago resurance 10c mehul bajaj and d lakshmago raise your hands yes mehul can you tell me about the what's the name of india's first cemented road mehul india's first cemented road Yes, Mehul. Mehul. 
first cemented road as the Yamuna Expressway. Yamuna Expressway, which has constructed in between of a Nizamuddin, Delhi towards the Agra, towards Agra. The speciality of a such kind of routes are that these can utilize for a landing of a jet planes also. So in a present economy, cement, they are playing as a key role for a set up the infrastructure, set up infrastructure. Cement industry is a heavy weight industry. Heavy weight industry. It uses the heavy raw materials and their product is also heavier. The raw materials required are the alumina, silica, gypsum, and limestone. Raw materials required for the raw materials required for the cement industry are alumina, silica, gypsum, and limestone. Besides the coal and regular power supply, efficient network of transport is also needed. The raw material is a heavy cement industry should be located nearer the source of raw materials. The first cement plant established at Chennai in 1904. India's first cement plant, it was set up at Chennai in Chennai at that time it was known as a Madras in 1904, but the growth of real growth and expansion of a expansion of a cement industry started after independence, after independence in 1989, 1989, when the prices and the distribution of prices of cement and distribution distribution and other policies reforms enhance the quality capacity production and technology production and technology today there are the 128 large and 332 mini cement plants in india through which we produce a variety of cement some cement plants are strategically located in a Gujarat for exports to Southwest Asia, East Asia, Africa, and Southeastern Asian countries. Southeastern Asian countries. Clear cement industries. Southeastern Asian countries. So Amrit Pal, the most important industry now as automobile industries automobile industries so automobile industry is the demand of a present economy present economy in which the road transport is the most commonly used means in india various types of uh, vehicles are used for quick transportation of uh, goods and passengers like trucks cars buses motorcycles scooters three wheelers Multi-utility vehicles are manufactured in large numbers at various centers in India. This automobile industry is located in and around of the Mumbai, Pune, Chennai, Lucknow, Indal, Gurgaon, Hyderabad, Jamshedpur, and Bangalore. After the liberalization in the 1990s, when India accepted as a liberalization, the demand for the vehicles with better design and engine technology increased. It led to the healthy growth of passengers, cars, to and two and three wheelers and multi-utility vehicles also. Due to as the FDI, FDI brought in a new auto technology and aligned with the global developments. There are 15 manufacturers of passenger cars and multi-utility vehicles. With support to the automobile industries, the locomotives, locomotives, railway engines, means railway engines manufactured in India. India's first Locomotive Manufacturing Center set up at Kanpur 
second in a visakhapatnam second in visakhapatnam in this process as the railway coaches also manufactured in india railway coaches near to the jalandhar kapoorthala known for the rail coach factory rcf rail coach factory which you so rail coach factory for the manufacturing of the bogies coaches for the coaches for the railways covered under as the automobile industries automobile industries clear now the last industries are the it based industries information technology and electronic industries electronic industries the electronic industries covers a wide range of products like as a television telephone telephone exchanges cellular telecom pagers transistors computers and other equipments required for a telecommunication industry bengaluru has emerged as the electronic capital delhi is our political capital bombay is our financial capital bangalore is our electronic capital the reason due to as a most number of a concentration of hardware and a software based industries concentrated in a parts of a bangalore concentrated in a region of a bangalore the another centers which are developing as the fastest it industries as the hyderabad except the bangalore and the hyderabad the other important centers develop for it based industries are gurgaon near to delhi kolkata lucknow coimbatore chennai delhi mumbai pune etc pune etc the reasons responsible for the concentration of it based industries it based industries in bangalore are the reasons responsible for the locational factors responsible for the growth of it based industries in bangalore and its adjoining areas adjoining areas of mysore hyderabad hyderabad madurai tiruvananthapuram the reasons responsible are first first due to the high literacy rate high literacy rate present in a kerala and tamil nadu high literacy in kerala and tamil nadu kerala tamil nadu and karnataka which provide as a skilled workforce in a larger in quantities large quantities for such it based industries second bangalore is located at the centralized location of a eastern and a western coastal regions centralized position which can easily access towards the eastern coastal plains and their ports of chennai puducherry visakhapatnam bangalore easily through the bangalore easily access towards the eastern coastal ports like chennai puducherry chennai puducherry visakhapatnam to which the it base products it can easily exported towards the south eastern asian countries of south eastern asian countries of singapore indonesia singapore indonesia jakarta sumatra in such countries bangalore is easily access towards as the western coastal plains and its ports of kandla mumbai new mumbai kandla mumbai new mumbai mangalore and kochi mangalore and kochi that's why the it based industries are concentrated in a parts of concentrated in a parts of a bangalore and its adjoining areas third reason third due to as a moderate weather conditions moderate weather conditions prevailing in a southern states moderate weather conditions prevailing in southern states supportive for a growth of a supportive for the growth of growth of high concentration of population 
supported concentration of a population in this region population in this region of a southern india southern india due to the nearness of a mumbai due to nearness of a mumbai nearness of mumbai and deficiency of industries Southern states, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu provide as the support for a growth of IT-based industries. IT-based industries. Industries are basically concentrated in concentrate in a such parts of the world where earlier the industrial development not occur. So, due to as a low industrial growth in a southern states, supportive for the concentration of a most number of IT-based industries. Bangalore. Bangalore is known as the Silicon Valley of India. Bangalore is known as the Silicon Valley of India, which has resemblance to the Silicon Valley of a Japan, known for the IT-based industries. Silicon Valley of India, known as the Bangalore. Clear? There are a large number of uh, software technology parks which provide the single window service. and high data communication facility to the software exports these are the decentralized in a different parts of a country especially in a jnk as a shrinagar developed as a software technology park in punjab mohali in uttarakhand in uttarakhand there is a dehradun himachal pradesh shimla delhi noida rajasthan as a jaipur in gujarat as a gandhi nagar in maharashtra navi mumbai new mumbai and pune in karnataka bangalore mysore and manipal in kerala as a tiruvananthapuram chennai develop as a software technology park in tamil nadu hyderabad in telangana bhubaneswar in odisha kolkata in west bengal guwahati in a northeastern states kanpur and lucknow in a uttar pradesh regions develop as the software technology parks software technology parks this it based industry has a major impact on employment generation which accommodating around the 1 million and is projected to absorb the eight times more in the next couple of years around 30 percentage of the workforce comprise of a women so we are exporting software and earning valuable foreign exchange continuous growth of hardware and software in this region which is supportive for the growth of it industries due to as a concentration of a it based industries in a southern india southern india it becomes as a special economic zone of it industries sez special economic zones special economic in that process as the different parts of a country these were known for a concentration of a different industries for example the western parts of a country in maharashtra and gujarat known for the cotton textiles concentration of a cotton textiles southern india southern states known for the concentration of a it based industries in a karnataka telangana and andhra pradesh tamil nadu maharashtra known for the agro based industries sugar north eastern states assam meghalaya west bengal known for the concentration of a concentration of a jute mills jute mills hosiery industries are concentrated in a jnk himachal and punjab hosiery industries due to the, as the rearing of a sheep in a parts of a jnk and himachal pradesh supported for a hosiery industries clear so these were the all the categories of a industries such industries which we discuss in our two broader categories of a agro based industries and mineral based in agro based industries as cotton textile industries jute industries and sugar industries in iron and uh, mineral based industries 
mineral based industries as iron and steel industries iron and steel industries aluminium smelting centers third as a oil refineries fourth as a fertilizers fifth as a uh, chemical industry sixth cement industry seventh as a automobile industry and it based industries information technology based industries information technology based industries information technology based industries clear till there any questions till there any questions when we are talking about as a industry industrial growth in economies due to as a industrialization when countries trying to achieving their developmental goals developmental goals with the growth of industries it also emits or it leads to the environmental degradation in the industrial development industrial development industrial development is must for the growth of a na uh, nation's economy and prosperity but it has taken place at the cost of a quality of a environment presently the we consider the us is the leading country in a relation to the economic development which achieved their developmental goals by exploiting their resources due to as this the green, uh, united states of america is the leading emission of a greenhouse gases such gases which are emits from the industries have caused as the land air water and noise pollution industries have also contributed to the global warming in return they affected the existence of a biodiversity on earth so now we as this is the air air water thermal land and noise pollution which are caused due to as the industrialization so first as the air pollution smoke from industries and thermal power stations are the major contributors of air pollution it causes the presence of undesirable and greenhouse gases in the atmosphere like sulfur dioxide carbon monoxide in a larger proportions airborne particulates matters like dust fume spray mist ash smoke cement plants brick kilns pulverizers petrochemical refineries burning of fossil fuels pollute air toxic gases leaks and radiation can leave as the long lasting effects on plants birds animals and human being one of the case studies which you learned in a eighth standard in your civics as the bhopal gas tragedy bhopal gas tragedy it was occur in disha in which year as a bhopal gas tragedy occur disha bhopal gas tragedy 1984 yes very good 1984 yes 9th d sorry 10th d 10th d chahat 10th d chahat Tenth D Chaha Trezor and Tenth D Chaha. Yes, Asta. What what was the name of a gas which was because of which leakage which leads to the death of hundreds of workers? Asta Ten C. Methyl isocyanide. methyl isocyanide so such kind of a poisonous gases when they as the leaks which may as the adversely impact over a economy and a human beings in such circumstances human beings are prone to develop the health problems respiratory and eye problems discoloration of hair hair fall skin cancers these are the widely affected as the human beings life span reduces reproduction gets affected and general health of plants and animals it deteriorates the it deteriorates the growth of a biodiversity next as a water pollution 
वाटर पोल्यूशन इज कॉज बाय द डिस्चार्ज ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक एंड इन ऑर्गेनिक वेस्ट फ्रॉम इंडस्ट्रीज एंड डोमेस्टिक लाइफ विच डायरेक्टली एज ए डिस्चार्ज इन अ रिवर वॉटर ड्यू टू द डिस्चार्ज ऑफ अ इंडस्ट्रियल केमिकल एफ्लुएंस डायरेक्टली इन अ रिवर वॉटर लीड्स टू द रिवर वॉटर पोल्यूशन विच इज थ्रेट टू द सोसाइटी द इंडस्ट्रीज द इंडस्ट्रीज टेक्सटाइल्स वॉशिंग डाइंग यूनिट्स पेपर पल्प पेट्रोलियम रिफाइनरीज केमिकल्स टेनरीज इलेक्ट्रोप्लेटिंग एक्सेट्रा कॉज द वॉटर पोल्यूशन दे डिस्चार्ज द डाइस डिटर्जेंट्स सॉल्ट एसिड्स एंड हैवी मटीरियल्स लाइक एज अवी मेटल्स लाइक एज अ मकरी लेड सिंथेटिक केमिकल्स विद कार्बन प्लास्टिक्स एक्सेट्रा इन टू एज द वॉटर बॉडी विच इज एज अ थ्रेट टू द बायोटिक बायोटिक बींग्स living beings ash phosphorus gypsum iron and steel slags are solid waste in india causing as a pollution of water the what uh, the oil spillage is the another uh, another hazard which has affected as a aquatic life this does not leave as a water fit for using for any purpose like as a drinking agriculture domestic and even as a industrial uses even a fish in a polluted water and a crops in fields get contaminated one example is there in ludhiana in ludhiana the a sewerage system water outlet from a ludhiana it is as through the bodanala that sewerage system to which as all the industries and the domestic waste discharge from a city ludhiana it moved towards as a move towards the such areas farmers are using the such water for the irrigation such water for the irrigation the reason in our state there is as a water scarcity water is not as a sufficient for a agriculture and a domestic needs so that water which is used for a production purposes which deprived which declines as the quality of a land land fertility as a decreasing due to the excessive due to as a use of a polluted water for irrigation for agricultural purposes third thermal pollution thermal pollution of water occurs <coughs> when hot water from factories and thermal plants are drained into the rivers and lakes this increases the temperature of water as a result aquatic plants and animal life get affected waste from a nuclear plants and gas leakages causes as the birth defects like as a miscarriage body deformities and even as the cancers also next form of the pollution as a land pollution dumping of a waste of any kind of a solid or a chemical substance which degrades the land and anything that grows and lives on land lives on land seepage of a water carries the pollutant chemicals soluble paints colors effluents pesticides fertilizers to ground water and cause as underground water pollution which leaves as the soil and the land useless and last form of the pollution as noise pollution which is caused by the use of different machines for manufacturing drilling scraping grinding mixing blasting cutting etc which leads a which leads a high velocity of a sound that unwanted noises cause as a psychological and a physiological problems like as hearing impairment irritation stress stress blood pressure blood pressure etc so in totality as a development has a required to as a industries but control over a such kind of activities to the planned way is also required in a present economy clear rest we will discuss on tomorrow any questions